Today, we will explore how a Donald Trump presidency may affect the gold and silver markets. This channel rarely gets into political conversations unless those conversations relate to precious metals. Precious metals analyst at Horaeus recently weighed in on how a Trump 2.0 presidency would shape the precious metals markets. I want to make it perfectly clear that the thoughts presented in this video are those of analysts at Horaeus and not my own. When I do toss in my own opinion, I will specifically state so. So let's get after it. Hi, and welcome to Minuteman Precious Metals, where it's my goal to enhance your financial preparation and prosperity and motivate you by tracking my personal stacking adventure. Thank you to all my new and returning viewers. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy today's content and ring that bell icon if you'd like to be alerted when new videos are available. I appreciate your views, but I need your likes and subscriptions to grow this channel. Thank you for your support. According to analysts at Horaeus, the prospect of a Trump victory in November could push investors around the world into gold as both gold and silver prices stand to benefit from tariffs and trade disputes. In their latest precious metals report, Horaeus suggested that the economic policies of a second Trump administration could drive global investors into gold. The upcoming November 5th presidential election will set the United States on two fundamentally different paths, depending on the outcome, the analyst wrote. The more unpredictable former president and current Republican candidate, Donald Trump, may introduce several economic policies that could lead to significant market shocks, geopolitical risks, and rising inflation. Trump currently maintains an edge over Biden in the polls, 46.9% versus 45%. Reyes pointed out that a renewed trade war could escalate tensions between the U.S. and China and could hurt both the U.S. and global economies. While the Biden administration preserved many of Trump's Chinese tariffs and raised tariffs on only a small basket of Chinese clean tech imports, a second Trump administration could escalate the trade war unprecedentedly, they said. Trump has proposed two significant trade policy agendas. The first, imposing a 10% across-the-board tariff on all imports from all countries. And the second, imposing tariffs of 60% or more on Chinese imports. Although the legal feasibility of these measures is still in question, Trump's first administration demonstrated the possibility of launching a trade war on China by invoking a loophole clause from an old statute, the 1974 Trade Act. A Peterson Institute paper found that these proposed tariffs could lead to an economic loss of 1.8% of U.S. GDP and significantly raise inflation. This assessment does not account for the almost guaranteed retaliatory tariffs from China and other countries. The analysts noted that the 2018 to 2020 U.S.-China trade war coincided with rising gold prices. Gold surged during this period as the prolonged negotiations, coupled with tariff and geopolitical escalations, drove investors to seek gold as a safe haven asset, despite a rate hike environment until mid-2019. Gold's appreciation closely correlated with the tariffs increase, which served as a meaningful indicator of U.S.-China tensions, which is displayed on the chart. Global ETF holdings increased from the end of 2017's 71 million ounces to the end of 2019's 86 million ounces, and the U.S. ETF holdings grew from 37 million ounces to 44 million ounces during that period. Reyes worries that Trump could also undermine the independence of the Federal Reserve. As his first presidency saw public attacks on Fed Chair Jerome Powell's rate hikes, unofficial proposals from the Trump campaign team include steps to undermine the Fed's independence and potentially remove Powell prematurely, they said. Trump could replace Powell after his term ends in 2026 with the dovish candidate. Additionally, Trump could appoint multiple governors to the Federal Open Market Committee, or FEMOC Committee, 
which would favor looser monetary policies. A more dovish FEMOC would expedite rate cuts and loosen inflation control, weakening the dollar and increasing investor demand for gold. They pointed out any maneuvers extending executive authority over the Fed could shake market confidence in U.S. monetary policies, further boosting gold prices. Turning to silver, Horaeus believes the expansion of the U.S. solar manufacturing industry, combined with increasing barriers to trade, could serve to boost domestic silver demand. In quarter 1, 2024, the U.S. added 11 gigawatts of new solar module manufacturing capacity, driven by substantial investments spurred by the Inflation Reduction Act, the analyst noted. Thanks to rapid solar deployment in every major region, Silver demand for solar PVs is expected to reach a consecutive record of more than 230 million ounces this year, equal to 19% of total global use of silver. And solar is not the only area of silver demand benefiting from the green energy transition, they noted. Expansion of EV charging infrastructure is also an area of focus for government subsidies in the U.S. Since January 2021, the number of public EV chargers has grown by 55% to 175,000 across the country. The rollout of large-scale electric infrastructure requires the use of silver in connectors and various components. Moreover, the U.S. is expected to announce several tariffs aimed at curbing Chinese circumvention of practices, such as evading tariffs by setting up PV manufacturing plants in Southeast Asia. These trade barriers could segment the market and put pressure on the U.S. government to expand domestic demand, creating a bullish outlook for silver's industrial uses. So what are my thoughts on Horaeus' most recent report? I personally feel that it's too early in the campaign to assume a victory by the former president. However, Trump presented a stronger position in the first debate and currently leads in the polls. If the former president does capture the White House, I do agree that the gold and silver markets would benefit from higher U.S. tariffs and international trade disputes. Gold and silver prices often rise with geopolitical risks. I feel that higher Chinese tariffs could possibly hurt the global economy and cause tit-for-tat diplomacy, but it could also increase U.S. domestic industry. While I feel that the current Fed has gotten their act together this year, Presidents are completely within their power to steer the Fed through appointments at the end of the Fed chairman's term. I don't think market confidence in U.S. monetary policy would be affected by a new appointment. I don't feel that the Trump presidency would negatively impact solar or EV growth, as these are both opportunities for growth in America. Increases in solar power would decrease reliance on foreign energy. The United States is a global leader in EVs, and a Trump presidency would want to continue that dominance. Lastly, I agree that a Trump presidency would grow domestic silver demand through increased industry. All in all, a Trump presidency should be good for both gold and silver prices based off the current data that we have. Let's call it there. Thank you for watching. And remember, time is your most valuable asset, and I appreciate you sharing yours with me. Minuteman 6, signing off.